guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in today's video I'm so excited because I feel like I'm always excited when I film a video I always say I'm so excited but I really am but I just caught myself right now but in today's video I'm gonna be doing a wash and go you know regular old wash and go using styling products that I probably haven't even used on my channel actually but they are products that already exist and you probably have already tried them but the twist to this is I usually always style my hair with a Denman brush and occasionally I use the Tangle Teaser brush but today I'm going to be using this Michael Mercier brush and the way it looks I actually use it to detangle my hair and it actually has 428 bristles so yeah they all are in all different sizes and if you guys can see some are long some are short um it kind of gives me tangle teaser vibes but not really so i wanted to style my hair using this brush today and see if my curls look any different it is a more circular shape than compared to the Tangle Teaser or the Demon Brush, so it is wider. So I wonder if that's going to change the way my curls turn out to be. My hair is dripping like crazy, so I'm going to go ahead and just bring my hair down. And then I'll tell you guys what I did to style my hair, what I did to wash my hair today. Alrighty, so for the shower routine today, what I did is I used the Sultanicals uh, Butter Shampoo. I don't really know how to pronounce this name, it's Shea Uvedic, something like that, I don't know if it sounds right, but I love this shampoo, I mentioned it in my favorites video, it's such a good creamy shampoo, it's kind of like a co-wash but it leaves your hair feeling super clean, so I use it in the week, you know, I've been using it like every other week or so, here I actually didn't use a conditioner in the shower today, which I usually do, but because this had so much slip, all I did was that I went in with the Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair. Um, deep conditioner also from Sotanicals. I left that in my hair for like an hour and a half ish and that's kind of the status of my hair right now. It feels really soft and moisturized so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started. So for the products that I'm going to be using today I'm going to be using the Myel Organics pomegranate and honey collection I love the way that collection smells and I love the way it works in my hair the only thing is I am gonna be using three products I typically do use three to four products on wash day just because I want the most hydration moisture and uh, curl definition just so that my curls can last throughout the entire week so I'm gonna start off with the Myel organic pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner next I'm gonna be going in with the pomegranate and honey curl smoothie and then the last product I'm going to be going in with is the Pomegranate and Honey Curling Custard. Good. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and do exactly what I usually would do with the Tangle Teaser Brush. I'm just going to saturate my curls in water. I'm going to take this Michael Mercier Detangling Brush. And it does detangle my hair pretty easily. I did use it in the shower. I struggled quite a bit because it is pretty big and wide. So I'm not, I wasn't really used to that, but it really did detangle my hair fairly quickly, I would say. I didn't have much shedding, so let's see what's going to happen. I'm excited. Let me take my rings off so I don't get them full of products. All right, let's go in with the leave-in conditioner. I love the way this collection smells. I'm probably going to be saying that a couple times just because they just smell so freaking delicious. Oh my god. You know, I actually was going to do a no brush wash and go, but then I just remembered that I bought this brush and I was like, girl, you need to try it and see how it's going to define your curls. So that's what I'm about to do. I think it's going to actually make my curls a little bit um, longer than I usually have them just because it's so wide. I feel like it's not going to curve them in very much like they would when I use the Dumb and Brush, but we shall see what happens. I'm going to take some of the custard. I'm not being too, too generous with this area because it is a small section. So it feels good with product. Now I can go ahead and style using this brush. God, I'm like, I don't know if I should like split this section into two. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna kind of curve it. Hold on a second. Take it and kind of curve it. Did that even do anything? And then I'm just gonna shake it to activate those curls. 
Did it even do anything? Let me try it one more time. Let me just add some water, a little bit more. So it has that good, good slip, a little bit more of custard because, I don't know, I feel like I need a little bit more. Okay, here we go. I'm going to split it into two just in curves. Okay, so I'm going to take it. I don't even know how to use this thing. Kind of just like twist it, shake it. Let's try this back section. It's kind of hard to use because it's so big. Okay, I got some curls going on there. Okay, let me scrunch them up. Let me help them out a little bit. Okay. Not too, too bad. Let me go ahead and do this other section with you guys here. I don't see much clumpage. When I use the Demon Brush, there definitely is more clumped curls. But because there's so many of these little bristles, um, it definitely separated and the curls are a little bit more stringier compared to how they are with the diamond brush so this is this is interesting maybe my hair won't be clumped as much and it will dry faster because I am layering a ton of products right now and they're all fairly thick so hopefully the drying process won't take me 10 years So it's like a mixture. It's like some of them are clumpy and then some are stringy. That's interesting. Can you guys see that? You see some that are more thicker and then others that are more like stringier. I'm going to scrunch that in. I'm also noticing that they are more of an S wave and not so much of a spir spirally ringlet like they are when I use the Denman brush. The Denman brush kind of uniforms my curls and gives me more of a ringlet curl. This is giving me more of an S curl and I think that's because the brush is so wide it's not really tightening up those curls. So you guys can see they're not really super uh, spirally as they would be with the Denman brush and I don't, I've also noticed not much shrinkage also compared to the diamond or the tangled teaser brush all right so i scrunched out my hair and i am noticing again a mixture of curls so there is ringlet curls there are spirally curls and then there are clumped curls usually and i try not to scrunch too too much because i don't want frizz you can kind of see just a tiny bit of frizz here before the most part there's not much frizz I, there is kind of some shrinkage going on there so i am pretty sure there's going to be some shrinkage when it dries up and then here is a little close-up of the curls you can see the clumped curls right here and then you can see the stringier curls right here so I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my curls. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to diffuse because I don't want to be drying forever. I feel like I've been diffusing my hair for hours. I think it's been like 45 minutes ish maybe even 50 maybe even 60 I don't really know I didn't keep track but this is what my hair looks like right now I already see some frizz here in the front no sé lo que pasó aquí no sé no sé we'll try to blend that in this is what my hair looks like right now <laughs> who was I kidding when I said elongation I mean anytime I use a brush there's just a bunch of shrinkage so this is what my hair looks like you guys there is a ton of shrinkage which doesn't surprise me I mean it is what it is my hair is obviously very flat there's not much volume and the reason let me put my necklace on I feel like I look so naked the reason why I don't have much volume right now is because my curls are still clumped 
So I was actually separating a little bit while I was diffusing because I had some really big clump sections and they were not trying to dry. So I did separate a little bit the ones that I saw but there is still a lot of curls that need to be separated like so. And this one even feels like it's still wet. Are you kidding me? I've been diffusing for like ever. So separating does take a little bit of time. So I'm not going to, I think this video is already long enough. So I'm just going to quickly separate off camera and then I'll come back to show you guys my full result. Alrighty, you guys, I am back. And these are my final results. It got a little cold in the room, so I just had to throw on a sweater. But you guys, I am loving these results. Like, I actually gave myself a little haircut. Let me show you the proof. The proof. I cut some hair off because I want a round shape and I want to keep it like that. But I haven't gone to get a haircut in we since February, I would say maybe even January. Earlier this year, and you guys know my hair starts growing really fast because I do drink mucha agua so drink your water because if you want your hair to grow drink a lot of water because it works and obviously take your vitamins um, but anyways out of top so in, bet in between salon visits I take it upon myself and cut my own hair so I did give myself a little trim um, a couple of days ago maybe like two weeks ago I just like to make sure that there's no tail but this brush definitely gave me some Denman brush vibes and <laughs> the shrinkage is real but yeah I did want to keep it round and I think I did a pretty good job um you guys couldn't really see it I didn't record the process I should have but this part was like sticking out and it wasn't rounded so I kind of just took it upon myself and just evened it out I love it to be honest this brush really caught me by surprise because it is a wider brush I actually thought it was going to give me um, elongation I thought my curls were gonna be elongated but just the way my hair is it just naturally wants to just spiral up whenever there's a lot of moisture and whenever I use a, a brush when I use my fingers there is definitely elongation especially by air dry but whenever I use a brush for some reason it just likes to just 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 go up let me zoom in and show you guys there is lots and lots of definition barely any frizz and I really did manipulate it a lot because I was separating quite a lot that's why I have so much volume but I'm not mad at these results I really really do like them I forgot to tell you guys where I got this brush I got it on Amazon for I believe like $12.99 it is a really cool brush I don't know if I would use it again just because it's so big like it's such a big brush I don't know maybe I'll get used to it. I'm just used to a narrow or a narrow -er brush so I don't know but I mean my hair is popping I have a lot of definition I barely lost any hair which is something that I noticed while using this brush it is very gentle although it sounds very like rough and it feels like it's rough it doesn't really pull or snag on my hair at all so if you have a problem detangling girl you should definitely try this brush out it just sounds like it's like too rough but I promise it's not I literally barely lost any hair while styling my hair I would recommend for you guys to try out the brush I think it's a pretty cool and unique brush it is a little dirty right now but that's okay um, it gave me amazing results I was able to use it in the shower while detangling while I was deep conditioning and I really like it so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want me to try out some different types of hair tools for curly hair of course let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah. okay rude Mwah.